first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to try and model the raw parts of this. So the raw parts of the modeling, I always consider like the flooring, the ceiling, the windows, walls. Lucky for us, this scene isn't too filled up with too many different kind of complicated stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the rectangular tool. Click once there and let's say somewhere about here. We don't have exact measurements of this space. I'm just going to draw a rectangle and then with the F key, I can just offset inside. As you can see, now we have a new surface within the surface that we created earlier with the rectangular tool. Uh, let me first just draw these out. That way, when we actually build the walls, we don't take too much space uh, for ourselves. Uh, we just make the whole workflow easier. So usually this has a height of somewhere around 300. As you can see, this is just way too big. We won't need something like this. Uh, let me just cut this off completely. And yeah, maybe the walls are a bit too thick so i'm gonna reduce it a bit i'm not working on exact measurements as i said so i'm just gonna try and guess things over here but let's see if we can find chairs similar to that here bar stools i'm not gonna waste too much time so this looks quite similar i'm just gonna download this that way we don't waste too much time a lot of people just do something wrong here where they just kind of duplicate and all of these chairs look similar or kind of identical what i recommend is to select each one of them and kind of move them around like a few degrees over here this is what chairs normally would look like in most households First things first, let's go to two point perspective. Second thing, let's do a uh, field of view a lot lower. Third thing, let's match the camera angle to something like this. And now just for the sake of being able to see like in the Enscape window a bit more realistically. So a few things we need to do, let me just go inside the kitchen modeling. Um, I'm gonna need to delete these intersections. That way I can push pull a lot faster. Let's move on to some of the materials. This one over here seems like a gray. Let me just go to colors. Uh, let me just choose uh, this one for now and then we can fix that later on. It's totally fine. This flooring, I think we can find something like this in the Enscape material library. Uh, let me go to wood and then we can scroll down. This one will work fine. We're going to, to modify all of these later on to look more like in the picture. Now let's make this bigger at least twice the size or let's go 120 as of now. Yes, I think the size is more appropriate with what we have over here. Yes, the color needs some tweaking. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to lower the saturation and now it looks pretty close to what we have here. It doesn't have to look exactly like that, but you get the idea. Now let's also add some curtains. So I'm going to go to the 3D warehouse, search up curtains. For wood, uh, let me see if we can use these planks here. I think it's pretty similar to these ones. Let's keep it like that. Now maybe it needs to be a bit lighter, something like this. We can see later on. Let's change the wood material on these uh, chairs. Okay, let's see how this material will look like. Uh, I'm gonna go to visual settings. Uh, we're gonna go to output and we're gonna go to custom. I'm gonna set this up as 1000 by uh, 1200. We're gonna use the save frame tool here. We can also lower the field of view a bit more. It won't make a huge, huge difference. Let's go a bit on this side. I think this is gonna be pretty much it for the composition. Uh, now I can just set up the camera, not the asset library, but the camera and just type in camera one. Uh, let me go back to this wood material here because that was ca causing some trouble. Let's go to the collar. This is not right. We have to be somewhere around here with the collar. Uh, a bit softer. Uh, I think I think it's fine like this. I'm just gonna leave it like this as of now. That can look better later on. Let's see how this will look. Saturation is a bit lower. Okay, I think we got the collar right now. I just wanna make sure that we have a bit more depth into this material. Let me just move on to this wood material. There's not anything particularly wrong with it. I think it pops up a bit too much. Maybe let's lower the saturation. Let's just leave it like this. Now, one material that is not gonna be super easy to find is gonna be the marble. So if you go to ambientcg.com, um, actually I have no idea if we're gonna be able to find this exact material that we're looking for. Now this is where I usually get all my materials. Uh, I'm not affiliated by them by any means. The most similar material that I can find to that is gonna be either this one or this one, but we're still gonna need to do some tweaking. I think this one is gonna work better if I just lower the saturation of this. Let me just go over here. This is just way too small. We need this to be larger. Let's do 140. Let's, um, let's lower the saturation and increase the light of it. 
Okay, I think we're closer now. Uh, let me use this material for this part of the kitchen as well. I think it's still too small. Let's do 230. Yeah, this is more like it. And then we can also uh, lower the tint. Let's do 70. And the color can be... <laughs> yeah, I think this, this is fine. This is completely fine. I still don't like the wood here. We're going to take care of that later on. Um, the wood flooring needs to have less saturation and be lighter. If I add a tint here, I might be able to come up with something better. I think this looks closer to this. We're gonna go to the sketch for your house. Let's search up magnetic lighting. Yeah, this works fine. I'm just gonna kind of multiply another spotlight uh, as we're in there. So rotate this completely 90 degrees, just like that. And then move this downwards, uh, go a bit backwards. And now we're gonna push pull through this whole area. Move this completely up. Now we need another spotlight if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we actually need a few more spotlights. Yeah, let's just do another one. I don't think we need that many. It's gonna look fine. Okay, not like that. We're gonna need some like this. Uh, maybe we move this more towards this side and let's select these more on this side. Pendant line lighting. Okay, not bad. Um, I think we, we can go on to just turn off the sun brightness completely as of now. Let's go with the rest of the stuff that we need here. We're gonna need microwaves. Okay, let's extend this upwards. We're gonna scale this up. And then let's get another one that looks similar to this. Um, I'm just gonna type in stove. Yeah, I think we can just use this one and then take the other parts off. Let's see, give me this one. Uh, let me move this over here. Let me scale this up, move this into the wall and I don't wanna waste much time with this. This is gonna be completely fine. I think this needs to be a bit more brownish. So let me select this right here. Let me go more like that, uh, more like this. Are we closer now? Yeah, I think this is fine. Let me find a sink that I can make it in brass, a kitchen sink. Let me just use this. I'll rotate it real quick, move this downwards. I'll select this part, uh, draw a rectangle, that way we can just cut this off and that way it looks just like it, how it needs to be looking. Push pull this downwards, nice. I think I think we're good here. Is the actual sink as well in brass? Yeah, let's go to metal as well. There's not much that you learn. I talk to architects from all over the world and there's basically not a single one of them that told me that university was helpful for them uh, in the actual industry once they get out. I talk with uh, David Tomic, I'm not sure. Uh, you probably, you guys are probably familiar with him. He does a lot of YouTube videos. Um, he was a guest on the Scale podcast and he told me that in some places in Australia, you can basically choose to uh, do a mentorship over uh, going to college or university as an architect. I thought that was just awesome um if i lived in australia i would 100 percent do that imagine how much more prepared you are if you actually do five years in an architecture firm uh, getting mentored by people who are already in the field uh, meanwhile you are at the field as well uh, you just learn way more than just um than going to university this is going to work for the lighting i think later on let me go to the nsk material editor i'm going to go over here let me lower the roughness kitchen let's go to the kitchen tabs over here this works fine put this over here rotate it and yeah i don't want to waste any more time with this what else do we need here the flooring needs to be a bit more beige these chairs are fine i guess we can work a bit with more lighting it's fine for now as well let's increase the intensity on this light so if i go over here yeah this is better let's add an your eye so I'm go to visual settings, you go to sky, you go to skybox, and then we can just load the skybox from file, um, downloads. So let's see what this AGRI has to offer. Let me just select this marble. I think this definitely needs to be more reflective. Go 20%, much better. Um, choose this and tune this down, I guess. Let's go to the, the HRI. I think we need to tune this up definitely a bit. And then the auto exposure, turn that off. Auto contrast, turn on the saturation, color temperature, something like this. What if I tone down the brightness of the HRI? I think this just needs to be more towards brown as well. Not too much though, but let me check. I think this is closer to what we have in the image. 
not not exactly this guy i need to lower down the saturation to like five yeah i think this is closer and then this needs to be towards brown a bit more as well what else do we need here should i keep basing off the this image because i don't think so i don't like the azure eye either i think i'm just gonna take that off completely i think i can just add something in later on with uh, photoshop okay this is not too bad this curtain i hate it i think we should try out this let's take these off as well let me move this to over here move forward i think this is going to be fine let me just find a good fabric material i want to use the same glass material on both of these okay uh, i'm looking for for like a plant that i can place over here i mean this this can work fine let's just put this over here this would look good i think this looks good here i'm gonna move it over here is the 14 d course recorded how many hours is it uh, yes, it is recorded approximately. It is uh, 20 hours, 20 something hours. But I mean, the, the recordings and all of that are super, super helpful. I think that the 14 day realistic rendering program is uh, it, like the upside is that you also get access to the private community where you will get feedback, you get a one on one um, call consultation with me personally and all of that. So I don't waste any more time with this. Uh, if you want to see my settings, here you go uh not anything extra oh yeah i should put this up to ultra ma settings auto contrast saturation is always higher than default color temperature is a bit on the colder side the effects i'm going to turn the knob blue all of these not needed uh, shadow sharpness all the way down ambient brightness all the way up we don't need this we don't need fog and all of this so i was going to take the render right now this is the render we created here in uh gravity in photoshop copy an image from google paste it here Kind of tilt it a bit let me just take this off let's go over here and uh let me just select it select color range okay mask this out and then what we can do here we can try something like auto color auto tone auto contrast whatever 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 i think this needs to be a bit softer um let's add a layer for hue saturation or vibrance i think that's gonna be helpful as well i think this looks all right but overall I think this needs a bit more kind of contrast as an image. Let me just export this as PNG 